In this video, I'll be looking at Kassel and Berger's Statistical Inferences, Chapter 1, Problem 2 Solution. Okay. Before we start doing these questions, uh, I need you guys to know something. Right? Let's say, when we say X is an element of A union B, what this means is X can be either in A or X can be an element of B. Okay, so union actually means O, A O B, right? When we say X is an element of A intersection B, this means X is a, an element of A and X is an element of B. So intersection, this means and. It would be elements in both whatever the sets you are talking about, right? Keeping these things in mind, we'll move on to the proving these identities. So to prove these identities, first we'll start here, right? Let's say x let x be an element of a taken out b, right? So, now, what this this means? This means x is definitely an element of a and x is not an element of b okay right so what this means is x is an element of a and x is definitely it's not an element of a intersection b okay because to be in the intersection x should be an element of both a and b right so from here you can write since x is in a but not in A intersection B, you can write this as X is an element of A taken out A intersection B, right? Since these work both ways, I'll just put arrows like this. So this concludes that A taken out B is equal to A taken out A intersection B, right? Now we'll move on to the next one. I'll start with the same thing. Let X be an element of A taken out B. I'll put double arrows. So what this tells is X is definitely an element of A and X is definitely not an element of B. So what this gives you is X is definitely an element of A and if it is not an element of B, it is definitely an element of B complement because when you when you combine B and B complement, you get the sample space, right? So <clears throat> now, can you see here, X is an element of both A and B complement. So you can replace this and with an intersection. So this becomes X is an element of A intersection B complement. So this gives you A taken out B is the same as A intersection B complement. Okay, right. so we are done with that. We'll move on to the next question. <clears throat> okay. Now, so here, uh, so this is the right hand side and this is the left hand side, right? In most of the questions, what I have noticed is like, if you see something like complex and long, always start with that side, okay? Because it is easier to go from this lengthy side to the simple side okay right so <clears throat> first i'll start by like again i'll take let x be an element of b intersection a union b intersection a complement right okay so pay close attention okay, right i'll put double arrows so what this means is X is definitely an element, oh, not definitely since this is union, this means O, okay. So X can be a, an element of B intersection A or X can be an element of B intersection A complement, okay, right. Then from, from this statement, you can write since this is intersection, that means and, that means X is an element of B and x is an element of a 
okay right so similarly from here from here since we have in, uh, intersection here you can write x is definitely an element of b and x is definitely an element of a complement okay right so it doesn't matter which which part you choose you can definitely come to the conclusion that x is an element of b and x is an element of b so this gives out x is an element of b which say, sub suggests that b intersection a union b intersection a complement is same as b, b, being, being an element of set b okay all right now we'll go to the next question right this one, this one is easy right i'll start with the same place let x be an element of b taken out a so what this tells you is x is definitely an element of b and x is definitely not an element of a right so this tells you x is definitely an element of b and since it is not an element of a it's definitely an element of a complement so now and and can be replaced by intersection so it's an element of b and a complement that means x is an element of b intersection a complement right so this tells you b taken out a is equivalent to b intersection a complement now we'll go to the final one. <clears throat> now I'll start with again the complex side. Okay, right. So let X be an element of A union B intersection A complement. Okay, right. So what this tells you is since we have union here that means AO this gives you X is an element of A O X is definitely an element of B intersection A complement right so this part it remains the same because we, we can't do anything so X is definitely an element of A O from here since you have intersection again this is AND so this is x is an element of b and x is definitely an element of a complement right <clears throat> x is an element of a o from here since i don't need this part i'll take out a, this x is an element of b right so what this tells you if x is an element of a it is definitely an element of A union B, right? Because you would combine all the elements in B and A. Or if you consider this side, X is definitely an element of B. So again, X would be an ele element of when you take the union between A and B. Because like, see, if this element is in B, when you combine A and B, it would definitely be inside A union B. So this gives you the conclusion A union B is same as writing a union b intersection a complement right <clears throat> i don't know i think most of you guys must have heard about distributive law right we can simply do it using distributive law as well this is method two okay right but it's distributive law a union a union C, yeah, here you have B intersection, C is same as writing, A union B intersection, A union C, okay, right, so using that, you can write the left hand side, you can write the left hand side, that is A union B intersection A complement, as using this distributive law, you can write this as a union B intersection A union A complement right so this remains A union B A union B 
when you take union of a and its complement any set and its complement you would get the sample space right so now when you take the intersection between a union b and the sample space we know like it would always be the simpler set which is a union b right. this is the second way thank you guys